HER2 positive breast cancer. What does it mean? And what are the therapies? And what does it hold for a patient who has a HER2 positive breast cancer? Greetings, dear friends. I'm Dr. Raji Vijay Kumar. I'm a consultant in medical oncology at BGS Glen Eagles Global Hospitals, Bangalore. Today we shall talk about HER2 positive breast cancer. What is HER2? 15 to 20 percent of patients in some conditions, it's around 25 to 30 also in certain countries, have overexpression of a protein called HER2. It's an epidermal growth factor receptor which is there on the surface of the cell membrane of a tumor cell. If there is a large amount of overexpression, it is called a HER2 positive breast cancer. Okay, so what is this HER2 and what does it mean? Every tumor has a need to grow. So every tumor grows due to different mechanisms. In HER2 positive breast cancer, atop the tumor cell membrane, there is a receptor or like a key or a keyhole. There is a receptor which when activated would send information to the cell to proliferate or to grow in size and in quantity. This receptor is called a HER2 or HER2 receptor. So basically HER2 is a protein on the cell membrane which helps the cancer to grow quickly. So how do we test for this HER2? HER2 we can test by around two methodologies. One is something called immunohistochemistry. After the true cut biopsy has been done on the tumor tissue that is either on the breast lump or on the lymph node or in a metastatic site, the tumor tissue is placed inside a paraffin block. Once that block is cut, on top of that we shall put these uh, proteins or these markers called immunohistochemistry markers. In An acronym for this is called IHC. These markers would identify whether it's hormone positive or HER2 positive or both uh, breast cancers. When you're talking about HER2 positive breast cancers, if this the marker for HER2 comes positive, it's called overexpression. That means you see, all tumors will have some amount of HER2 expression would be there to a certain extent. But if it is overexpressive, if it's more than 10%, then it's called positive. So if there is so there is uh, there is a grade. If you see a report, you might see zero or one plus, two plus or three plus. If there is more than 10% of the total number of tumor cells which express this and there is complete membrane staining or even a partial membrane staining then it is called 3 plus. If it is not at all seen it is 0. If it is very marginally seen it is around 1 plus and it is like a 50-50 like a cricket match in or out so like a third umpire. So in that kind of situation it is called 2 plus. It is not very low it is not very high but just somewhere uh, languishing in between. In this kind of situation, what do you do if it's 2 plus? It's not, neither is it negative, neither is it positive. It, it is equivocal. In this situation, you do a test called fluorescent in situ hybridization. It's also called as a fish test. That is all done on the tumor tissue itself. You put probes to identify whether the markers exist or not. That is the uh, HER2 protein is overexpressed or not. If it comes positive, then afterwards you push it into the category of HER2 positive and then treat accordingly. If you like this video, please do press the like button, press the uh, do uh, share it and subscribe to our channel. Thank you very much.